Sam, as you mentioned, standing by here with uh, trainer Joe Holloway of the uh, seven. She be stinging. And uh, Joe, talk to us about this mile tonight. Things set up perfectly there. Half 52 and change on the outside following cover. Oh, it worked out great. Uh, David gave her a great trip. Uh, when Kelly J. Fraw made a break and it changed the complexion. And uh, John Spilly was a little bit grabby and just kept going. But, uh, you know, we were in a great spot. And once she had the lead at the head of the stretch, I felt confident. And uh, then it was just then I could have time to relax. Now she had missed some time coming into tonight. Did you have any concern uh, with that in mind? Well, we trained her very tight, but uh, it's always tough to train one, is, you know, for race conditions, and she was going to be out the whole mile. So uh, she raced very, very good. And what's up next for uh, Shebe Stingen? Uh, she's here next uh, week for the Guernsey. Just two-fifths of a second off the uh, world record here. Any shot we may get to see that next week here in the uh, daytime? It should be a great opportunity for a big, big mile. Oh, yeah, and the track's great tonight. I mean, you know, maybe the three weeks just cost a little bit, but, you know, uh, Timmy Tietrich said it's best tonight. You can't just go out looking for that or you'll get yourself beat, but I'd like to see it, and uh, she deserves it. Uh, she's a very, very nice filly. No doubt about that. We look forward to seeing her right back here next week at the uh, Red Mile. Congratulations once again, Joe. We're going to send it back upstairs to you, Sam. Thank you very much, Gabe. Here's the order of finish top down.